Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online for Mac. Last week I took a look at Office 365 and a brief introduction to Word 2016. Office 365 is a new subscription service from Microsoft, and it's actually quite a good deal. It includes access to the latest versions of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote and Outlook, and you can install those applications on up to five Macs, five tablets and five iPhones. You can even include up to four other members to access the same account, plus you get one terabyte of online storage with OneDrive for each family member. And you get 60 Skype minutes completely free each month. In this episode, I'm going to cover Excel 2016, and as with last week, I'm not really going to drill down and cover this app in detail. I really just want to give you a flavour of the capabilities of Excel and how you can find your way around the application. So let's make a start with Excel 2016. Let's start off by opening Excel, and Excel is Excel 2016, and it's the latest version of Excel for the Mac, and it's included with the Office 365 subscription. Now, in common with all the new Office applications, they all have a similar look and feel to them. Uh, if you look back to last week, the uh, Word application had a, a blue theme, Excel has a green theme. And when we open up for the first time, although you can configure it in preferences, I have it configured so that uh, when we open Excel, it goes straight into the gallery, and we can have a look at all the different and templates available to us to create a brand new spreadsheet. And similarly to Word, we've got access to our account. So I can see what online services are available to me. I've got OneDrive Personal, which is my one terabyte of online storage. I can add additional services as well, an additional OneDrive account, a OneDrive for Business, or a SharePoint account if you have one of those. Uh, we've also got access to Recent. Now, one thing I didn't mention last week is that you can pin um, documents or files to your recent folder. We'll look at that later once I've actually created a few workbooks. And then the option to open. And that gives me uh, access to my online services, such as OneDrive. I've got two folders in there, documents and pictures, but also I can get to my Mac as well by tapping on here to go to my Mac. But let's start off by going to new and let's create a blank workbook. We'll say create. Okay, and let me uh, just tidy this up a little bit. Right, as I mentioned before, we have this green theme across the top. You can switch this off if you don't like it, but uh, I find it quite pleasant. And uh, let's take a look at the UI. Now, of course, a spreadsheet is basically a grid of cells. Um, in Excel parlance, we have a workbook, which is the sort of the entire file. And within a workbook, you can have multiple sheets. So down here at the bottom, I currently just have a single sheet of cells within this spreadsheet. I can add additional sheets as well if I want to, and then jump between them using the controls down at the bottom. Okay, uh, up at the top, we have the quick access toolbar again. So I can go directly back to my file menu. I want to create a new file or access any other files. I've got access to save, so I can save this particular workbook. Uh, let's save it, although I've not created anything in it as yet. We'll leave it as workbook one. I'm going to save it in my online location. I'm going to save it in my documents, and I'll save it as an Excel workbook. Uh, we can, of course, save it in different formats and some specialty formats down at the bottom. But I'm just going to leave it as an Excel workbook. Now you can also select some options. So if you want to password protect your spreadsheet, you can do so either to open or to modify or to make it read only, but we'll leave those off for now. And I'll just save my workbook. Okay, up at the top, we've got options to undo and redo. Uh, and then across on the other side, we've got options to search our sheet. We can do a find or find and replace. So advanced search or replace, and then access to share the spreadsheet. We can either invite people we can copy a link or we can send as an attachment, but we'll leave that for now. And again, as with Word, Excel also has these ribbon uh, bars. These are groupings of various bits of functionality so to put together in an easily accessible place. Now you can actually switch these off if you want. I showed you last week, there's a control here to actually toggle the ribbon bar on and off, or you can actually just tap on the tab and that will delete it as well. To get the full version of this tutorial completely for free, as well as immediate access to over 500 other Apple-related tutorials, all you need to do is visit seofree.com to register for your 14-day, no-obligation, free trial Screencasts Online membership. So that's seofree.com to register for your 14-day free trial membership. <laughs> 